I'm about to share a little too much information with you. But it's important because this type of stuff can happen to anyone while they're out on the road, full-time RVing. In uh, 2008, I had a vasectomy and everything was good, working fine. But uh, there was a slight complication. Over time, I've developed some scar tissue that is pushing on a nerve. Well, now to, it's to a point to where it hurts bad enough to where we need to get something done. And so I have a VA, I'm a traveling veteran, and I got a referral out to a urologist to take care of it for me. And, but the, the planning part of it is where the difficulties come. Because we're traveling all around Florida and bouncing around, we've had to travel back to several appointments, and now we have the surgery scheduled for tomorrow morning, but the recovery process is gonna get a little tricky. For the first 72 hours, I can't do anything, bed rest. For the first week, I can't lift anything over five pounds. Well, we move in six days, so it's gonna get interesting because you know, wintering in Florida, we can't just extend reservations. So we tried to plan it the best we could around the availability of the surgeon. And the best we could do was have the surgery and move six days later. So <laughs> it's gonna be fun to see because Leslie's gonna have to do most of the tear down here and the setup at the next RV park. And we're only there for two weeks. So it'll be on the back end of the recovery, but she still will have to lift everything and do that second move also. So um, we'll take you along the journey of what it looks like when you have to have medical procedures while you're on the road. And hopefully it won't be as painful as I think it's gonna be. Look, Leslie's mean. I was being all nice. And then out of nowhere, unprovoked, she says. Just hit me. What'd you say? <laughs> I said this will be the first Valentine's Day in 23 years because you're not getting any. <laughs> <laughs> and she's smiling about it. Like, why would you why would you do that? That's not it's just, it's nice. Just, it's funny because I know it's going to kill you. Well, I did deployments. I did deployments. Well, uh, well that's your uh, well, yeah. first in 23 years of being home. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't getting any. It's just mean. <laughs> I'm out enjoying my last day of freedom last day to be able to scooter for a while for a while you make it sound like it's ever <laughs> it's surgery you never know it, honestly you have it better than i do tomorrow how the hell do i got it better than you got it tomorrow <laughs> because you're gonna sleep through the procedure i'm gonna have me sitting in the waiting room all by myself bored out of my mind before the sun's up you're gonna be <laughs> you ain't gonna know let's all take a moment of silence for leslie <laughs> Lost. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> the very worst part of the whole entire thing. Yeah. I can't have sex for two weeks. It's <laughs> uh, uh, funny. It's not <laughs> funny. How's that funny? It's funny for her. I think it's funny. Thank you to RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding, the sponsor of today's video. And we all know that the mattresses that come in RVs are not comfortable. No. It's one of the first things you really need to change yeah. in, in your RV. Yeah. So RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding is a perfect fit. It has all types of sizes, firmnesses, and just different styles of mattresses depending on what kind of sleeper that you are. Yeah. They come with a 120 night sleep trial, a 10 year warranty, free shipping, and it's made in the good US of A. <laughs> yeah. And it's not just mattresses. Yes. They have accessories. Love their accessories. You love accessories. I love accessories. <laughs> they have pillows, they have sheets, blankets, mattress protectors. You name it. We use the sheets and the, our daughter has one of their weighted blankets. Yep. So we'll leave a link in the description below if you can pop over to RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding if you're looking for a new mattress. All you gotta do is put in the promo code WAGS when you check out. It's the middle of the night. It's 520. Huh? It's 520. That's what I said, it's the middle of the night. Yeah. It is not <laughs> for us. I don't remember last time I was up before the sun came up. I can't have anything to eat or drink. Nope. I can't, I had to stop at midnight. Mm -hmm. Leslie's got coffee. Uh -huh. I wish I had coffee. Sorry. And she's got a granola bar. 
Yep, in my purse. Which I'm not too jealous of. I'm not usually hungry anyway. I'm not a morning breakfast guy. Yeah. But I do wish I had the coffee. Yeah. We're also doing this under, you know, just the light of the GoPro because Scout hasn't woken up yet. No, I'm not disturbing his sleep either. There's no way to look cool in a hospital. I got my booties and my leg thingies. Oh, and by the way, I got a haircut this morning. Not up here. <laughs> it's gonna suck because they did the whole area. abdomen. Yeah, so like right there on your waistline, as it grows back, that's gonna be all itchy. Itchy. That's yeah. gonna be scratchy. But uh, yeah, I'm like a newborn baby. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Oh my god. You don't want to know that, did you? No. <laughs> it's that time. See you on the other side. Still waiting. Still tired. And this couch over here, let me show you. It looks very inviting right now. Totally would make a good bed right now. I normally do not drink coffee twice in one day, but it is so cold in this hospital. I had to go make myself another cup. He is out of surgery. I'm waiting for him to wake up, and hopefully we'll be out of here soon. Surgery's over. He's ready to go home. Everything went well. Now I just gotta go around the building, pick him up. Thank you. Very good. Good to go. Thank you. Be careful. to tell about it. <laughs> a little tender. <laughs> it's just a little, a little tender. I'll try not to hit many bumps on the way. <laughs> Hungry. <laughs> Got the munchies? Yeah. Oh, stairs. This will be ideal. Oh, oh yeah. Good morning. Did you miss us? No, he absolutely did not miss us. All right, I'm gonna go change into my stretchy shorts. Yeah. Something comfortable. Mm -hmm. Give me a drink. Mm -hmm. Not like, like a, drink, a drink, drink, drink. Not like a drink, drink. <laughs> you can't drink after you know 24 hours after anesthesia. But I'll give me some. Like, you could. It's just frowned upon. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'll give you some juice. Juice. And probably hang out and sit here, watch a movie or something. Cool. For like three minutes until I fall asleep. Yeah. <laughs> we got home just in time to watch the Price is Right. I used to watch Price is Right when I was homesick with Grandma. Grandma used to make me soup. And now Leslie's making me soup. Uh -huh. And I'm watching Price is Right. I feel like it's a, a sick day from school. Yeah. <laughs> Except I don't know that I ever iced my balls. <laughs> When I was homesick from school. You probably did. <laughs> <laughs> it's the day after the surgery and I'm doing pretty well. Up and about a little bit. It's a little sore. Leslie got me hooked up. Uh, she's got me a little stool here. Because the bed is so tall. This mattress is really thick. So I was uh, I was going to have some issues getting into the bed. So Leslie got me a little stool here. For the first time this morning, well, I took a shower. I wasn't allowed to shower yesterday. But I took a shower today. And today was the first time ever I used our little teak bench to sit on because I couldn't bend while I was standing up so I had to sit on the bench and uh, wash down my legs and stuff so uh, it works good I didn't fall out of the wall so that's a good thing <laughs> it's a little slow going up and down the up and down the stairs but I'm getting around I just gotta take it easy I've been icing I've been I've been a good patient I've been doing what the doctors tell me to do icing every two hours Tylenol I took my antibiotics this morning so I'm being good. You're being good. Yeah. And um, so when we were talking to the doctor, yeah, we were talking about limitations. So it looks like really the only thing you're going to have to do is really the power cord and the softener. Yeah. You'll have to get up into the back well, of the, the truck. Well, get the hitch. Get the hitch ready thing, and stuff. Yeah. But other than that, I can pretty much do everything else. Everything else is light enough. I can do like the water hoses. I can I'll take do the, the stabilizers down. Yeah. The other fun fact that I wanted to share with you is the doctor told me it's not two weeks of no sex. It's one week of no sex. <laughs> and guess what one week from my surgical date is? 
Valentine's Day. It's Valentine's Day, Day baby. <laughs> Woo! <Yeah. laughs> Lucky Lucky me. you. <laughs> Lucky you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that so? <laughs> well, it's been four days since my surgery. And I have been doing nothing. Like hardly anything at all. But now it's uh, <clears throat> time to get some propane. Lucky me. <laughs> I was and hoping I could lift a propane tank in and out of the RV. Yeah, I can't help. <laughs> no. So I don't know if she's going to be able to lift it back up no. once it's filled. I'm going to try. We'll get a good idea of how she handles it empty. <laughs> if, she, if she struggles empty, I'm we so might weak. just go ahead and just call for some backup. Yeah. But if she does okay empty, then we might give it a try full. Oh, there's the easy part. Scoot her out. Easy part. <laughs> this is the easiest part of my day. <laughs> I, I can't, like, oh, yeah, give me one hand. <laughs> <laughs> we looked it up too. After these are filled, a 30 pound tank yeah. filled weighs 55 pounds. A little over 55. I suggested to go ask the guy across the road if Leslie wants to try. I can try. That's, That's easy. not that bad. That's the easy part. Well, yeah, it's downhill, so <laughs> gravity took over. <laughs> Which way is it going? This, this way, huh? Okay. Lift it and just kind of lean back and just get the bottom into, the, the bottom into there, and you should be good. Okay. So I shouldn't try to grab it from the bottom. You can, but just like just get that bottom part onto that lip and you'll be fine. Okay. Oh, she made that look easy. Oh. Nope, there goes your... Oh, I yeah. should have taken that off before. Holy crap, you made that look way too easy. <laughs> Leslie's a sandbagger. <laughs> She's been talking all this mess about how she can't lift stuff. And then all of a sudden, He-Man. Well, I mean, all you men make it sound like it's a painful, hard thing. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> Looked like she could have threw it up in there with one arm. <laughs> it's moving day, and I'm already wore out. Uh, the only thing I've really done is tanks, and that was enough to take it out of me already. So, uh, Leslie's been doing good. She did the everything in the back of the truck to get the hitch ready and the tunnel cover pulled up and everything because I can't get up into the back of the truck and now she's getting all the GPS and the backup camera and all that stuff squared away. It's arm day. Oh shit, don't hit yourself. It's arm day. <laughs> so far so good. Done everything great. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Not get to this, toot my own arm. Just gotta get this cord in. <laughs> I even lined the truck up pretty darn accurate. You did, pretty good. So. Yeah. Uh -oh. So now. Oh, damn. This is at an oddity. Okay. Let me just bring up those. That is a lot easier. Cool. Shoot. Let's go. <laughs> Well, we just got to our new site and, and we're all set up and Leslie did it all. She did it all 100% by herself because I think I did a little too much when I was tearing down and I was just sore from uh, from moving so I really couldn't do much. But you did it, man. I did it. I did it all. <laughs> we didn't film it because it was, it was enough to just, just do it. Yeah. So doing it and filming it was not... No. An option but no i mean it was way easier than take down yeah yeah very proud of you thank you yeah, good job we're all set up yeah, yeah. <laughs> just gotta get the flags I on do it and uh and we're all set gotta get yeah. scout inside we're only on 30 amp which is okay yeah it'll be fine we're only here two weeks yeah so it's not terrible oh <sighs> and so now just go relax yes recover some Please. more well i haven't done the inside 
<laughs> yeah, because you were busy doing the outside. I had to outside. do the outside, so now I'm going to do the inside. Yeah. Hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help vets out on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description. Appreciate you watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.